Apart from just marriage, I can boldly tell you that there are just so many benefits attached to obeying the perfect will of God in every area of your life. You need to experience what it feels like for yourself. Now when it comes to marriage, there are so many benefits of obeying the perfect will of God. Knowing and accepting His will for you is very vital and you will never regret it when you choose to follow His will. As humans, we are short-sighted and we cannot possibly see the future, so why not trust someone which is God, who can see the end right from the beginning, instead of yourself who you know is bound to make mistakes. From the day you were given birth to, He already saw how beautiful your future is going to look like when you choose to obey His will for you. He also saw what it will also look like when you do not follow His will. Still, He's not someone that forces you to accept His perfect will for you. He always allows you to choose. One of the benefits of obeying the perfect will of God in marriage is that He helps prepare you for future changes. As we all know, people can change, even you too will change. Sometimes for the good or the worse. The only person that remains constant, no matter the number of years, is God. There are certain things you will like today, but tomorrow you will realize that they no longer make you feel excited or happy whenever you are doing them, and as you change today, your partner is also changing. God is the only one who likes to someone today and always his preference never changes. It takes only God to help partners keep up with the change that occurs in them and their marriage to have a happy home. God is the only one who knows the heart of a man. No matter how hard you try to know it, you can never come close. I'm not saying that when you obey God's perfect will for you, you are going to have a perfect marriage. No, there is no such thing as a perfect marriage. But the truth is, when you follow His perfect will for you, you can be at ease because you know He will work it out for you when those changes come in the marriage, when your partner changes to the worst, at least you can stand boldly before the throne of God in prayer and trust Him to fix it. God will never take you somewhere and leave you alone. He always gives us something He knows we can handle and that's why your partners and your change is something you will realize fixed easily all the time to have a beautiful home. Obeying God's will in marriage makes you rest assured that no matter the changes that comes, you and your partner are still working towards God together. Another benefit of obeying the perfect will of God in marriage is that it gives you peace no matter the turn of events. If there is one thing that is certain on this planet is that the devil is after marriages because if the home is destroyed, then society at large will also be destroyed and that's why he will always want you to marry the wrong person. We all know that life is full of ups and downs. You can never be sure of what happens next. The challenges that we face are never going to end. They will keep coming time after time in different forms. But what makes the burden easier to bear and still find peace is when you obey the perfect will of God for you in your marriage. It takes two people who love God and are committed to each other who choose to follow the will of God for themselves to not tear each other down when they are facing challenges. This peace comes only from God that will overwhelm your heart so much that even when you are in a lot of challenges, you still find yourself and your partner enjoying your love and not concerned about what will happen next. You will realize no matter the level of difficulties that you both face in that marriage, you will still have happiness and strength to keep on pushing to fulfill your purpose together. This kind of peace, my dear, is only possible when you follow the perfect will of God for you. The book of Romans chapter 8 verse 28 says, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. When you know that you are following God's purpose for you and His will, no matter the situation that comes, you know that everything is going to work for your good and that's where your peace comes from. The devil will never stop attacking marriages, so beloved, you need to follow the perfect will of God for you to enjoy this peace. Also, the benefit of obeying the perfect will of God in marriage 
is that you can still work towards protecting your salvation. The Bible has told us to guard our salvation and work towards it at all costs. We know that as believers, that this world is not our home, and we are just passing by, so in everything that we are doing, we are still pressing towards the goal which is heaven at last. Now, the person you are married to plays a very important role, whether you like it or not. The person you are married to can either make you or mar you. It depends on who you chose. The will of God for every one of us is that we may be saved and that's why He will be bringing someone who He knows you both will be able to work out your salvation together. You need to hear me well. I'm not saying that God is going to bring you a perfect spouse, because the truth is, no one is perfect. When God brings two people together, it is far from a perfect picture. It's two imperfect people coming together to birth God's perfection. Which means, you do not expect to see someone who is perfect, but someone who carries God on the inside and is also teachable. When God is bringing two people together, His goal is salvation. He's matching you with someone who will fulfill His dream of making you like Christ, for this is the main reason why we exist on earth to become like Christ. The person you marry is meant to sharpen you, make you become more like Christ and that's why the scripture says, iron sharpens iron. The man you get married to is supposed to present you clean to Christ, just the way Christ does to the church. Ephesians chapter 5 verses 25 to 28 says, Husbands, love your wives, as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her, so that he might sanctify her having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word, that he might present the church to himself in glorious splendor, without spot or wrinkle or any such things, that she might be holy and faultless. Even so, husbands should love their wives as being, in a sense, their bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. It takes only a man who loves Christ that will be able to present you clean to God and love you the same way that Christ loved the church. This man is only found when you are obeying the will of God for you. So also a man, the woman that you married is supposed to help you achieve God's plans and purpose for you, and not take you away from it. The woman makes it easy for you by submitting to you. This kind of woman can only be found when you are obeying the perfect will of God for you. Lastly. The benefit of obeying God's will in marriage is that you can be sure to enjoy the blessings with obedience. The truth is, our parents always bless the child that listens more and does whatever they tell him to do, no matter what it is, and that is the same thing that happens to us when we obey God even when it comes to marriage. When you are obeying the perfect will of God for you, it is a certainty that He is going to bless that union. You both will prosper even when you expected that things will be bad. But the moment you both committed to stay together and get married, because you knew that it was God's will for you, doors of success and prosperity will begin to open. You will be marvel at what the Lord will do. Already, the scriptures said, He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. Now you see it, as simple as he who finds wife. Imagine how it looks like when you allow God find for you and you accepted it. Trust me, the blessings will be so much that you alone will not be able to enjoy it. There are blessings that with obedience and more blessings when you carried it in to marriage. The perfect will of God for you in marriage might come in a way you did not expect, but if you desire to have a good, reliable marriage, and also enjoy these benefits, then you need to follow His will. It might not be easy at first, but it is worth it.